so happy to welcome Sarah Leathers from the Healing Meals Community Project dot org by the way so <laughs> we'll look up the website in a second you have put together something fascinating I think and so needed in the state of Connecticut and actually globally and that is bringing 14 to 24 year olds together making organic healthy meals for families in crisis yes where did this come from? How'd you think it up? And we're chapter nine, are we? We're 11, 11 in the now. country, okay. yes. So my sister 10 years ago um, at the time was uh, owned her own catering business and uh, did all vegetarian organic meals for, uh, really it started as her friends who both had um, dual income families and they wanted healthier meals. And so she started doing that and uh, that grew to a full catering business and she had about 10 people working for her. And one of her friends said, would you help, my daughter needs to do some community service, would you, would you teach her how to cook? And maybe find a family who needs meals. So they found a single mom with breast cancer and they started making meals for her. And the young girl said, well, can I bring a friend? And so she brought a friend, they found another family. And one day the gentleman came to bring them, uh, pick up the meals. And he just went on and on about what a difference these meals were making. And my sister looked over at these two girls and they just kind of puffed up. And she realized, wow, this is more than just these healthy meals. This is really changing these young people's lives. And so a couple weeks later, she called me and she said, well, I have the vision of what I'm supposed to do. And now 10 years later, uh, they're out in Sonoma County. Um, they're one of, they've done over 550,000 meals, I think. They now have three kitchens in Sonoma and we're one of 11 affiliates in the country that have taken this on. And those all got started because a family member was being served meals out in Sonoma and they said, you know, their family member in Ohio or Madison or was saying, this is amazing. How do I start this? And, you know, I always tell everyone, my sister could have said, well, you know, we started cooking some meals and, you know, we brought some young people in. But she listened to the outside. She absolutely she, did. She didn't just do this. She was listening to mm -hmm. a problem that exists. Absolutely. You started this in 2015. Mm -hmm. You started cooking in 2016. How many meals have you done? 10,000. 10,000 meals in Connecticut. Yes. For families in crisis. Yes. All right, so how many chapters do we have in, you're in, are you in Simsbury or Avon? We're, we're in Avon. You're in Avon. We're in Avon. And, and you just moved because. We did, yes. There's such a need. We did. We moved. We, we were um, blessed to start in um, a kitchen. New England Pasta Company opened up their doors to us for free when we got started. And we were there for um, a little over a year. Um, and we outgrew, we really outgrew what we needed. Um, we know the need is great. If we asked everybody, do you know a family in crisis? Everybody does. Everybody does. And so we knew that the need was gonna be bigger than what we could do there. And so um, the North House in Avon had an, really had a third kitchen that they weren't using and they opened that up to us. And that's allowing us, we're now able to really use that Monday through Friday and we, even weekends as we grow, um, we can, the kitchen will grow with us. How are you going to get one of these in every 169 <laughs> cities and towns and boroughs in the state of Connecticut? Well, what's, what we're really blessed is um, our meals are delivered to our clients and we currently go from Avon 45 minutes in any direction. So we have delivery angels, those are adult volunteers who deliver to our clients. And, um, you know, I always say to a client, if I have a delivery angel who will come to you, we'll bring you a meal. So right now, 45 minutes in any direction. And then we already have somebody who's mentioned they want to do something on the east side of the river. Uh, you know, I want my dream is to have one in New Haven, one in Hartford to bring inner city youth into the program. Um, we're working with an organization who um, would like us to work with people with disabilities. So. People are realizing what we're doing is important on a number of different levels. This is huge, what you're doing to help other people. How can you harness this? I mean, you've got a board and you're the founder. Yes. So how, how do you grow this to get it everywhere? Mm. You need a point person in each <laughs> town? Not necessarily in each town, but um, I, my feeling is that we're gonna be home base for Connecticut in, in where we are now. Um, and what I want to be able to do is bring people in 
and really teach them what we do. Um, we feel really strongly that our mission, we want to stay true to our mission. And it's easy. People, uh, there's always somebody who says, oh, can you do this or can you do this? And we feel really strongly that we need to stay true to the work that we're doing is bringing 100% organic food to families in crisis and really develop our young people with leadership skills um, and job ready skills and so forth. And so, you know, this person right now who lives on the east side of the river drives to volunteer with us. We have somebody else in the no one's getting area. paid. We actually, we have people a are. very few of us are getting paid. Yes, a very few. We have over 250 volunteers, and there's five of us who get paid right now. And I, I will say that the community of support of volunteers is amazing. People are truly committed for a number of reasons, I think. One, we have the joy of working with these young people and really seeing them at their very best. And when you're part of that, it, it definitely fuels you. Um, it fuels the young people, but it fuels the adults who get to work alongside them. Uh, my husband's a delivery angel, and he absolutely loves it. As we show your website, I want to talk about how you are bringing in your 14 to 24 year olds. How do they know about you? How do they get involved? Are you in every high school? Because I think every guidance counselor needs to know about you. <laughs> well, it's interesting. When we started last March, March 2016, in February, we put out on Facebook, we had done our first Facebook, and we put out that we were doing a volunteer night. And we all said, Maybe it's just going to be the five of us. Who knows? And we had 50 people come out. Many of them were adults, and they brought their kids. Many of them were adults who went home and said, here's an organization that I want you to get involved in. And we all know kids need to do community service. So that's a lot of times how I get them. Mm -hmm. But they stay. And that's the beautiful thing, is that they, they do their community service hours, but they keep coming back. What about sponsors? Have people lined up to try to sponsor you, some of the, the, the cancer organizations? Because you're working with cancer, immune disorders, anything that puts a family in crisis. But you have to, I guess, stipulate that because so many are in crisis. There are. And so there are criteria um, because we obviously can't serve everybody. Um, but we've been blessed that really we, we have at this point been able to service everybody. We were really careful when we started not to put it out to oncology offices and hospitals because we didn't want to be inundated and not be mm -hmm. able to service our clients. That's um, the hardest thing. How that's the hardest thing. And yeah. so as we're growing, so moving our kitchen was one. Getting our kitchen organized and ready to expand is our next process. Putting some systems in place. Um, I have a volunteer manager who coordinates 250 volunteers a week, right? Because she's reaching, trying to reach everybody and everybody's schedules. And so getting some of those systems in place. And then the beautiful thing is we're an affiliate. So any Anytime we, we say, how do we do this, we go back to our affiliate series in California. And they, they're right there for us. They're there supporting us. Are there other affiliates on the East Coast? No. Well, uh, New Jersey, uh, which supports just women with breast cancer mm -hmm. um, on a much smaller scale. So how, in a perfect world, what's your wish list? What do you need right mm. now? Gosh, uh, our wish list is... Um, our big vision is to have our almost a whole campus of our own building with almost a center um, where those with cancer and those with chronic illnesses can come, almost like a retreat center. Um, that's down the road. We know that's down the road. But right now, we, we know the need is great. We want to be able to do what we can for everybody who, who needs us, youth, adult, client. Um, but to do that, we, I, I need to hire staff. I really do because we know, I know now that we can't grow without good quality people. And I have them, but I need to be able to give them more hours to be able to do everything that you we're need doing. Funding. We need, so the bottom line is that all goes back to we need funding. And we're starting, you know, our, we're only a year and a half old, so we had to prove ourselves. Uh, we were blessed that when we sent out our first fundraising letter, um, people supported us. We hadn't even started. We haven't made a meal. And we were, in our community, we're well supported. But now we need more. And we, um, you know, we're asking for corporate sponsorships now um, because we can say, hey, look at what we've done. Right. We're really supporting all of these communities. And would you join us? Would you help us? 
Sarah, what's your background that you're able to do all of this? Because this is a full-time job, I'm assuming. I, more than full-time. So what, what is your background? How did you... My, so I've had an interesting journey with my career. I'm actually an engineer. Um, and then, you know, worked in corporate America for a while and had some different, different jobs along the way. But all along the way, I tell everybody, I've, I've learned skills that have gotten me to where I am today. Um, a few years ago, I went through a major health crisis. I which, was going to ask you if this didn't hit home. It did. And um, that, actually at that time, I wasn't able to work. And I went through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, which is a health and wellness coaching course, because I thought, I did it from, really just for me. I just said, I wanna figure out how I can take better care of myself so I can take better care of my family. I don't wanna go through something like this again. And I learned so much. And, but that time, I then met people you know, it's all part of the connections. And actually, the associate director is an, an IIN grad as well as are some of my client um, managers. So uh, that, and then I worked with kids with disabilities. I worked with inner city youth. Uh, my husband's a teacher. And we, we, we talk about it all the time. How do we support these young people to help them be their very best? And I think we've come up with something that's pretty special. We don't allow a parent on the same shift as a child. And sometimes my, my son is there and sometimes Ellen's son is, sons are there. And you know we have to be careful because we're often as a parent you wanna correct your child and yet here's a space where that doesn't happen. The, everything that they do is good. So and you've walked the walk. You feel what you're doing to your core. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Sarah Leathers, thank you so much for coming on. Thank I you. want you all to help her because this is a really big deal. <laughs> Healing Meals Community Project yes. dot org. Dot org. Correct. Correct. So if you want to volunteer, be an angel driver, you call them? D uh, delivery angel. Delivery you can, angel. You can uh, do prep shift. You can cook along with our youth. You can help package. You can do administrative things. You can be a delivery angel. You can help in our garden. Um, and let's hear from the high schools. We need yes, you. absolutely. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you, Anne. I really appreciate it. You betcha.